Hello everyone, welcome to Magic Bullet. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple LED blink project using Platform IO. First, what is Platform IO? It's an open source ecosystem for IoT development that makes programming easier and more efficient. It supports multiple platforms and integrates with the popular IDs like Visual Studio Code. To get started, we need to set up our development environment. If you haven't already, download and install Visual Studio Code from code.visualstudio.com. Once installed, open Visual Studio Code. Click on the extensions icon here on the left. Now search for Platform IO ID and install it. It will take a while to install the extension. Once that is done, Go ahead and reload Visual Studio Code if it prompts you. Now that we have Platform IO set up, let's create a new project. Click on the Platform IO icon in the sidebar. Then select Home and click on New Project. Name your project something like LED Blink. Choose your board. I'm using ESP32 DevKit V1. But you can choose any compatible board and set the framework to Arduino. Once that's all set, click finish. All right, let's write the code for our LED Blink project. Open the SRC folder and find main.cpp. Here we are going to write our Blink code. Let me type it out for you. Delete the sample code. All right. We start by including the core Arduino library with uh, ash include arduino.h. This library provides essential functions for our program. Next, uh, we define the setup function, which runs once at the beginning. Inside setup, uh, we use pin mode to configure the built-in LED pin as output. Then we have the loop function, which runs repeatedly. Within this loop, we use the digital write to turn the built-in LED on, followed by delay to wait for one second. After that, we use the digital write to turn the LED off, and again delay to wait for another second. This cycle continues indefinitely, causing the LED to blink on and off every two seconds, creating a simple and effective blink effect. Finally, Ctrl plus S to save the file. Now, let's compile and upload our code to the board. Connect your board to your computer using a USB cable. Then click the check mark here to compile the code. If everything goes well, click the right arrow to upload the code to your board. Once the upload is complete, you should see the LED blinking every second. It's that simple. If you encounter any issues, uh, check your connection and ensure the correct board is selected in the platform IO settings. That's it for today's project. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below. See you next time.